Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for Wednesday the 17th. So we're looking at Microsoft, AMD and Tesla. And we'll also look at um, Home Depot as well. Um, also, I think I'll scoot through these quite quickly. And I think that we'll just have a bit of a recap of um, Alibaba, Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, um, and a few of these, those ones we've been looking at earlier this week as well. Now with this particular stock here, um, um, it's possible that the wave one here is sitting on top here for this, um, just to sort of let you know that, and uh, we don't need to go there just yet. This particular uh, instance here, in most of the markets, we're looking for an A wave down, a B wave back up, and a C wave down here before seeing a move to the upside. Any move to the upside here, we'll just see the first high above the level and then a then a correction here and then up from that point, okay? Um, it's possible that this market can just push straight up from here as well. So we just want to have a look at that um, today as well. So we're also looking at being long in this uh, position here and to exit uh, at the 200 uh, here. Um, hopefully that you've gotten out a little bit earlier than that because I'm, I haven't been... Um, I haven't got my processes in place to update everybody yet for these sorts of things. But normally when I'm going for a large number as such, I'd always move out um, before that anyway. Um, and normally at number eight. So normally at 98 that I would be looking to get out uh, in, in that case, because eight's always a profit taking number. And I mean, if you're there at the desk, it doesn't really matter. But if you have to, if you're setting and forgetting, then number eight before a large number, it could be 48 here. Um, and so on, because then you'll be in the first wave of, of coming out of those. So, um, yeah, so we'll just leave that for the time being. Now, as you know, in a lot of the cases, we've been looking at the move down here in uh, in five waves. Now, uh, there are instances like Amazon, for example, that we can count this down in three waves here. That means that um, we'll have a look at Amazon again as well, uh, that it can push up higher from that point. If it was going to move down, then it would pretty much move down from roughly the 61.8% mark here. So it's flickering around, you know, pushing a little bit higher up into the next FIBO number and so on. So it can uh, move down from here, but making another high here would see this market push up higher from that point because it'll be getting support on the 61.8% mark at that point. So um, if if this market um, takes out, say, this high here, then we'll see it up here. But otherwise, if it can't do that and struggles here, then we'll see five waves moving down into this space here and then up from that point. And then we can call this wave four. And in most cases, we're looking at that as wave two in there. But either way, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, so if it drops from that point, you'll know where we are. I, I don't know if you want to trade against the trend, not such a great idea, but um, I'll leave that with you for that. And ADM is next. So I'll just go to the daily chart first for this one. So what we've been looking for here is from wave four here, we've been looking at one and two and three here, and then an A, B, C, D, E for four here. Now, um, it has made a new high here above this one here, but it's pretty pathetic. Um, so we could look at it in two ways. We could look at it as five of one being done, and then we would look at it in terms of an A wave down here, a B wave here, and a C wave to fall down to this, this space here. Otherwise, we could look at it with wave four um, sitting over in this space here and having a larger triangle, in fact. So an uh, an A, B, C, D, and E wave sitting over here for wave four. So that works as well. Both counts work um, reasonably well. This is the other count here. So an A, B, C, D, and the E wave here could still certainly be moved over to this space here to have one more move down in this regard as well here for this, and then a move up from that point. Now, if it is from this point here, um, so you're having wave five there um, as the top, 
just, you know, it just looks, looks, looks like three waves, doesn't it? It's very difficult to get five waves out of that particular structure. So also what I want to point out here, we don't want to miss any. Think to the upside because this is a, a bullish corrective pattern because we've got three waves here so whichever way you want to look at it it's bullish so we want to be high above this here so um the 61.8 percent is here so what we're going to do is we can just drag this up i'll just use this one here i'll drag it up to 56 here if 56 becomes the support, then we want to be looking to go long at that point there. Okay. Um, 56 as support. A nice tested support sitting on that can take us long. So just in case we, in case I miss anything, you know. Um, but otherwise, we'll see this pull back into here. This It does appear to be an impulse wave down here. So an A and a B and a C coming into this space would pretty much do the trick. It may even pull down a little bit further. Um, but certainly get support on, on these lows here for that before we see a push up. So we're looking for a push up. We just need the right space to do it. We don't want to miss it. So if we get support on 56, um, a classic trading levels pattern, a nice test of support trading above it's not good enough, like this instance here. So we've got this high here, for instance. So we can go long above the second high here. So we're looking for it to get up there and sit up there and give us, you know, the, the high and the second high. And we can go long on the second high in that, in that instance. And um, Tesla is the next one. So, so Tesla's hit a um, thousand, as you very well know. And um, counting up here for this, uh, I just don't think it's finished. So, um, first of all, our trade, we were long here, and the idea was to. Uh, take profit at 1,000. So hopefully that's all done and dusted and locked in uh, there. So we don't need that now. Now the move down here and the move up here, this move up here appears to be uh, impulsive. So um, let's just check this out a little bit further. I have to go to the tick chart, I think. Right, okay, so first of all, um, I can see that the move down through here, yes, it can be counted um, as, as an impulsive wave, I, I get that, but it also can be counted as a corrective wave as well, um, and this is how I've counted it. So corrective as an A and a B and a C wave here. This move up here is certainly impulsive. This move down through here, it's got overlapping wave structures, so we could say that, yes, it is impulsive, but it's got a problem with it, or we could look at it as being corrective. This move up here so far, um, it looks a bit corrective too, doesn't it, as an A and a B and a C, so it's likely to move down further. But what I wanted to say here is that we can go short if the nine, because we've got group two here, 65, 72 and 80, and it's supporting the market here, um, as I've mentioned um, in other times, is that um, uh, group two and group one above here. So if I move these guys here, group one would be 10 here, and I'll just borrow this one for 20 here and 30 here. So that's group one. So group one and group two like to hold the market in place to this number here for, as such. So um, if this is corrective here, then if this low here is breached, that makes it corrective at that point. OK, that, that would say if that was breached, that would leave that standing there as three waves. So if that's the case, then we can just move this trigger here. I'll just extend it out a little bit. And so we really want to be looking to go short um, on the on the low of that. That would confirm a move to the downside at that point. But don't forget, it may not go very far. It may just come down into this 61.8% as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave into this area through here. Any long trades here would need to be above 
if we take that high and that low there, this is the 61.8%. So we really need to be above that for that. So you need support on that level and you can see that it's uh, important. So a nice tested support on that would put you long to the upside and just trade up to a thousand, get out and the market would vibrate there for a while and we'll look for another setup on that side of it. But um, uh, I've got to go with the general market at this stage, so we'll look for um, a bit of a short trade, but it may only bring us down to this point. Technically, if we were looking at this as five waves down here, um, in line with the S&P and all the rest of it, well, then we will end up back down at the 900 here, so the short trade's okay at that point. Um, so that covers those. We want to have a look at Home Depot as well. So I've just got to bring it back out to distance that we can see it. So um, on this intraday chart from the low here, we're counting up as one and two here, and then all the way up here for wave three here. And I know that we could probably call it wave one as well again, but um, just steady as she goes, not going to make a lot of difference. It does look a bit impulsive down this side here. So technically then we should see another move down through here and then a move up from that point there. This is the wave four of one lesser degree. So I'm happy with that. I'll just check 38.2% retracement level. Which will probably be lower. Yeah, it's a bit lower in this space here. So um, I can see that it works with the trend. So this one here would be uh, viable. So, you know, the, the question is, is that in five waves or three waves for that? The other main point here too, is that um, we're in a bullish trend. So if we get support on top of 250 here, then we want to be looking to go long at that point. And to get support on that, um, on that level there, we'd we'll be looking for the classic trading levels pattern which you start should know by now, which if that's the 250, the, is it 250? 250. If that's the 250 here, we've got the arrival at the moment, just getting here, a reaction, the first high above the level, a corrective pattern, and then support. That's what we're looking for. So in this instance here, um, we've just, if I can just draw over here, we've got the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. And then if we see a little thing like that, then we can go long over there. That's what that green thing means there. Uh, and then if that's triggered, then we can go to the upside. But otherwise, we'll be falling to the downside in that instance there. So um, I want to cover some of the other ones. I want to cover um, Alibaba here. So this is kind of interesting because, you know, most of the markets have fallen down and we're looking at them as impulse waves. But this one here has moved up and it's just, you know, turning these highs here. It may not make a new high here and it may be, you know, the A wave, the B wave and the C wave down through to here. But at the same time, um, you know, we need to look to be able to go long on this. So um, I'm just going to drill straight into the tick chart at that point. And what we can uh, see here is, um, right, so this is another case here as well. Um, it's possible to count this down as, as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for wave two here. It could be counted differently, but you know, it, it's not really displaying an impulse wave. This is more like an impulse wave. So we should be looking to go long um, above these highs here. You know, there will be trouble at this old high here. So we need to do that dance up here, the arrival, the reaction which we're getting. We want the first high above the level, some sort of corrective move here. And then we can look to go long over here for that um, in that way. Sure, you can go long here if you wanted to. You can always put a line through there and do all sorts of things. But um, let's just get on top of this situation. So um, yes, this can be counted corrective. It hasn't made a new high above here just yet. So um, it could be a corrective wave up and this can be wave one down wave two and then working lower through here. So we need to be mindful, um, but getting support breaching that high here makes this bullish. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That high is breached, then we'll be going up higher from that point. And we want to be we want to be on that market there. So we'll look to go along there. Um, Alphabet. 
So with Alphabet, we were, last time we spoke, just sort of on the tick chart here, we were looking for wave three up to here, wave five, and then we we're looking for an ABC back down. So I'll just clear these up here. And we were looking for uh, an A wave down here, a B wave and a C wave here. So this is, I mean, once again, this is, you know, this can be certainly be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave coming into here, but we're quite high here and that's okay too. But once again, if we take out this top here, then we have to be bullish from that point. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Uh, otherwise, we just got to wait for this to um, fold back down into this space here. But I'll just leave this the way it is. But I just wanted to point out that um, and it counts quite nicely down as one and two and three and four and five here, then an A and a B and a C wave up here. But if it takes out that top there, then it's going to go higher from that point. So just be, you know, be be aware of that. And Amazon as well. So with Amazon, it's a little bit different here. Um, I can count down here as from the top is one and two and three and four and five for the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave here. So we may already have this in play here or something else is going on here because this certainly looks uh, bullish on this side over here. So I was thinking with Amazon here, because we're already on support here, uh, normally we'd look for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave back down and you know we'll be mindful of that. But don't overtrade this. What we could do here is just put this, I'll copy that and I'll put that up there and I'll just put this here as, um, I'll thin this out as half a line so that can just be half a trade or a quarter of a trade or third of a trade, whatever, whatever you deem fit. And um, based on this move here being one, two, three, four, five, being an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here, we can certainly take out the tops here. So being at this large number here with a consolidation, this is the right point to get in. So what I thought about here, this is the 2620 area. So if you get support on that with a classic trading levels pattern or 2623 would also, uh, if that was triggered, you could just go along at that point. Um, yeah, and then this would be wave one and two here and three and four here, and there would be one and two and three and four and five would start working up higher at that point. So we don't want to miss this. So, um, yeah, nice little classic trading levels pattern. We've got the arrival. We've got the reaction. We're looking for a little first high. but we want that little high above the level here. We may get a second high here uh, and we can take that and then we're on our way. So just want to be prepared for that and being on the right side at the right time. And Apple, have a quick look at Apple as well. See, once again here, I mean, we, we could count this down here as one and two and three down here and then four here. Um, or we could count it. I mean, it's, it's bounced really high for a wave four. So, um, you know, it certainly can be a corrective move. And, you know, I mean, we're way up here with, with all of this. So if you were long down here, I think obviously we talked about taking a percentage of that point. That's that's fine. Um but uh, yeah, on the 350 here, um, there's going to be a bit of a struggle going across the top here. But I don't really see a problem with being long here off this, off this uh, five being the second strongest number. So I don't see any problem with being long off that. I'll just want to check a few things first. Yeah, I mean, that's what we were looking for uh as an A and a B and a C coming back down through here. But if this top is taken out here, then we're going to be heading further to the upside. And um, we want to, we want a pattern here that we can work with here for this. I just don't know if we've got, if I'm using the hourly chart here. Okay. So we've actually had some long trades in here and um, Anyway, we've been stopped out here. Hopefully that you've um, done a better job in there than than I have because I can't update it daily or each time. Um, but yeah, so I've already looked at this situation here before. So um, 
yeah, we're still, I mean, far as I can see, we can still move up, um, move up higher from here. So as I mentioned, there's going to be problems at this old high here and on the 350 here. So give it a little bit of time here, but we should be able to go long again here. So um, I'll better leave that there. So a while anyway. Um, let's just go to the tick chart again. Let's just check this out here. I mean, this is, oh, that could be counted one, two, three, four, five here, ABC here. And go short under that one if you wanted to, but otherwise we're going to be pushing higher here. But I just want to get some sort of thing. I can see we've got one, one, two, three, four, five here. So we've got one and two here and be a strong third wave here, fourth and fifth wave here. So all of this is some sort of third wave here. Then we've got this one here. So one and two and three and four and five here. I'm not sure if we should include this spike up here and back, probably one and two here. That would leave us to this high over here. So we'd still have one more little high to go here. So we're going to see, um, you know, if this is going to push higher above here, I can't draw over this side, then um, what's the best way to approach this? Let me just double check this again. So, so all of that is one structure. And then this structure here can take us to this structure here. Not a very good fifth wave, but I can see that it can be finished in here with a extension in the first wave here and two and third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave. Not good, but um, that's the funny thing with these stocks since I've been tuning into them. They've really got their own, they're right, they're in their own world, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this old high here is going to be. I mean, if we were sitting on top of this here as support, then that would be that would be the place we'd want to be here. So up here, back again, up here, then a corrective move here, then that high here. That's the safe trade here at that point. Sitting on sitting on this old high here, buying before this, what it does, it just burns up time. And if you've got CFDs, well then you're burning up money. And if you've got options, you need to be well, uh, I've got to get this straight. The, you know, the European options are different from the American options, so uh, different strategies and so on. But look, there's going to be time spent here for this. So we'll just keep an eye on it, but just bear in mind that even with the S&P 500 and all the rest of it, um, you know, we can count five waves down, but it may not be the case when we're looking at these stocks here that are actually driving the indices as well, you know. Um yeah, that looks like one and two and three pushing up here, four and five to go higher through here. I'll leave that with you. Just shoot the breeze a little bit. Um, just want to have a look at uh, Atlassian. Atlassian. Right, okay, so... Last time we spoke, we're looking at one and two and three up here, and we're looking back for four. I just figured four was really quite small compared to the previous wave four, so I don't even think this is wave one here. I mean, it certainly could be, but um, and this here is an A and a B and a C works okay, so there could even be one more move down through here for this, but I'm thinking this wave four could still still be over here for this. It's a bit messy, but either way, not to worry. We're going to make sure that we're if we're going to make sure that we're long above the 180. That was what we spoke about before, so I'll just leave that where it is. And um, I'm not going to put this short trade thing in here because if it moves down here, it's only going to bounce off this here. So um, we'll just stay on the right side of the trend, and we'll just buy new highs. And this correction as a way for now has got the right look and perspective about it compared to the previous way for here. In fact, it's the same sort of, this is the same pattern as this one, just upside down really. So um, let's just wait. We'll take this high out, we'll go long and we'll go long to the 200 and then we'll, we'll get out at that point. Um, but I'm unsure about this fourth wave here, but we'll take that top. Um, there for that. Um, 
what else do we need to cover? I'll just cover Exxon as well, Exxon Mobile. So we'd been looking for, let's go back in, tune in a little bit. So from the low here, we were looking for an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave up here. Now I've counted as corrective but it, it may not be the case you know so but it is three waves and in this case here we have five waves down here so this is retesting now i mean it's kind of pointless to put in the 50 60 percent retracement level which is at the, at the 50 dollars anyway and just above that so this market would probably like to cover this gap and then collapse from that point so an a and a b and a c wave here and then come back and retest that and then drop from that point so we can look to go short below that low there i know it's it's wide and you know it's a, it's a long way from the market and all the rest of it um but at minimum this move here if it, it looks impulsive to me because when wave one here and wave five are quite small and wave three has got all the action in it so it definitely looks um, impulsive so we should see a corrective move here in the next session and probably another session or two after that she'll start to show weakness here um, once again if we were going to go long here then and if this move at the top here was an a wave down here and this was a b wave up here and the c wave came down here somewhere and then it came back up and found support here well then we would be looking to go long on these highs here but otherwise um, as it stands so far our big account for this is an a and a b and a c wave here that fits quite nicely so it's corrective and the fact that this has moved down here overlapping wave a here also helps send it in as a corrective pattern now it's not final because we could look at this as wave one and two here, then one here and ABC for wave two here, as long as that low stays in place. But once that low there is breached, then we can go back into this space down here for that. So we'll try and look for a short trade on here and I'll just keep updating uh, this, this one uh, for us. So, all right, I'll leave it at that. We've spent enough time, but I think it's a good idea just for me to recap some of these stocks um, as we move through the week and that way we can kind of update them so coming back week after week oh you know the same day each week um, is a bit long so um, I will try and get a format happening where we you know cover the stocks as it's supposed to and and then recap the other stocks a little bit and um, and move through and we'll also start uh, tracking and um, uh, you know moving stops and things like that as well and get a bit more professional about it. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in.